losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last. Hi. Sometimes we need to do a simple task like copying some files or, or creating folders on target devices. In this video, I'll show you a simple way to do that using a Win32 package. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy these files into a folder on the target device with a simple cmd command which is the first command is to create a folder and the remaining commands are to copy the files over to the target device so the first thing we need to do is create a win32 package for that so to create our win32 package we'll use our Intune Win app util So the first thing we need to do is find the source folder of where our files are and we copy and paste that into the tool. The next it wants the setup file name. So I'll copy and paste that into the tool. And then it will want the wherever you want it to output the the created file I'm just going to put it in the same folder and I'm not going to create a catalog folder and there we go you can see it's created an intune.win file there for us so our next thing to do will be to upload that into Intune so now we have the MEM console open in Wintune we go to add and we select a Win32 application and we need to now select the package we've just created ok on that I'm going to call that YouTube YouTube copy files demo I'm not going to change anything else, I'm going to put a publisher in because I need to. And I'm going to put a, a version in just so I know if we need to change it, that it, it has actually changed. I'm not going to put an image on this one. Program, what we need now is our name of our CMD file. And as it's got spaces in, I'm going to put inverted commas on. I'm going to put the same one in here because I need to put something in and I haven't written an uninstaller for that yet. I'm going to run it as system requirements. I'm going to say 32 or 64 bit of Windows. I'm going to say it needs to be version 1809 or newer. I'm not going to fill any other requirements in at this stage. our rules I'm going to manually configure a rule and what I'm going to do I'm going to say it's a file and I'm going to open up our CMD file and I'm going to put the path in as the name of the path I am creating and the folder I'm creating at the, la at the last stage I'm going to enter that into there and I'm going to tell them the file or folder exists is what the, the package is looking for to ascertain whether it's succeeded or not dependencies I haven't got any on this one no supersedence and assignments now just for demonstration I'm going to put this in as an available but you can put it in as required which makes life easier because it happens in the background and we create that package and that will soon show up on, on a VM I've got running and I'll come back once that's showed up in Company Portal. So if we go into our Company Portal app on one of the devices it's targeted at and we do a sync after a short period of time this will show up as an application in the Company Portal And you can see it's actually there already. So what I will do, I will 
look at the folder and you can see the folder is not there as it stands at the moment. So I'm now going to click on that and click install and that will tell me it's download pending. Now depending on whether anything else is happening, anything else is being installed or Windows updates, this can take a varying length of time. As you can see it's downloading at the moment. And if I go back into the program files folder, you can see the folder we wanted to create is actually there now, as is the subfolder and the files have all copied across. So that's a very simple way to do that and I'll see you in my next video.